Hello everybody, The Lawn Gnome is here. I can't wait to show you my toys. So today I am here to talk about the third installment in the DC Expanded Universe films, and that of course is the brand new David Ayer directed film Suicide Squad, starring actors such as Joe Kinnaman, Jared Leto, Will Smith, Margot Robbie, and Jai Courtney. Now, this is a movie that involves the bad guys of the DC Universe in a comic book and Bruce Tim animated series element that has been seen a lot in the past couple of years, which is known as the Suicide Squad or Task Force X. What that basically is, is Amanda Waller, who is the head of Argus, which is a secret government agency that basically takes these supervillains who have already been captured and brought to justice and they basically become their task force for the sake of getting these jobs that the authorities themselves cannot do. They need the metahumans. So if they actually comply, they are given some leeway within their prison sentences and if they disobey Amanda Waller, they pretty much die. So. I have to say, as someone who has been so excited for these DC films, I was really surprised that the Suicide Squad was going to be one of them. So it really wasn't something that I was extremely excited about. I was really more excited for the Batman v Superman movie. But as the trailers kept coming, I got very excited, and then I got a little unexcited because after the failure with the critics and a lot of the fans with Batman v Superman, they said that there were going to be some reshoots and redos for the sake of Suicide Squad being the better movie, so I was just very, very nervous. But still somewhat positive because everything just looked like it was going to be tons of fun. And then of course we got the Rotten Tomatoes score, we got a couple of YouTubers talking about it, we got critics everywhere talking about it, and basically the DCEU is just not seeing the love. I went to see this movie and I gotta tell you I am not on the bash train, okay? I went into this movie and I had so much fun with it. I am trying to figure out what everybody is talking about in terms of it being a horribly paced film, a convoluted story, how you don't feel any sympathy towards characters. I didn't see that. I enjoyed all the characters. I thought the story was very understandable and I thought the pacing was absolutely fine. Do I think it's better than Batman v Superman? I gotta tell you, no, it's not, but it still is a very interesting chapter, because let's face it, we all know what happened at the end of Batman v Superman. So, of course, we all had to figure out, okay, what are we gonna do now, just in case, God forbid, a person just as strong as Superman decides to show himself or herself and start wreaking havoc on the world. So let's use these villains to do this, and I really think that they did a fantastic job. The cast of characters was Wonderful. Will Smith as Deadshot, perfect. Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, give that woman an Oscar because she made all the DC fans proud. Jared Leto as the Joker. Let me say something about the Joker. Never has the advertising of a movie misled an entire flock of people in the wrong direction so badly, and yet it was absolutely Perfect. Jared Leto's Joker is not in this film a lot, nor is he the driving force of the film. But what I appreciated about him was he did a great job. I actually loved the Joker because it seemed to be a mixture of the Heath Ledger Joker, a little bit of the Mark Hamill Joker, a little bit of the Jack Nicholson Joker, a lot of great Jokers all rolled up into one. But they gave you just enough of him to get you excited for the fact that he is going to come back and be in another bunch of movies. There's already a rumor that he's going to be showing up in Justice League. There's obviously going to be a chance that he's going to show up in the Ben Affleck directed Batman film. So. I'm happy with that. Jay Hernandez as El Diablo, who was probably one of the few villains I wasn't sure of how to feel about before I saw the movie, but I really appreciated his story and I thought that he was a very powerful character. Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. Forget it. I thought that nobody was going to beat CCH Pounder in the animated Bruce Timm universe. I love Viola Davis. She's one of my favorite actresses and I thought that she did one of the better jobs in this entire 
film alongside Margot Robbie and Will Smith. Everybody else, I thought, played their roles very well, and I found this story to be quite entertaining and fun. Definitely when it comes to the comedy, Jai Courtney, who I haven't really seen in a film that I've really enjoyed, he did a great job as Captain Boomerang, and it was probably so much easier for him because of the fact that he didn't have to hide his Australian accent. He did great. I thought he was hilarious, and I really want to see him more, and I think we will because of a little surprise that was thrown in very early on in the movie. Comic book fans are really going to appreciate these villain characters because they really took a lot from the comic books and they really gave us very accurate depictions of these villains. I also really love the special effects, the action sequences, the soundtrack, even though to me I really didn't think it was so present. And there were a whole bunch of other things that I really did appreciate because while I thought that they were going to be something else at the beginning before I went to go see the movie, they ended up being exactly what I thought they were going to be, including the villain of this movie. I kind of felt that that was going to be the case, because for some strange reason, when I saw the trailers, I was trying to figure out how this one specific villain fit with all the others, because I kind of realized that this specific villain was never in the same shots as all the others, and that was kind of what gave it away for me. But I will say this. This is a fun movie. It's a great installment to the DCEU. I am even more excited for what's coming out next year, and I am going to definitely want to see this movie again because I had so much fun, and I'm definitely going to be adding it to my DVD collection. I'm hoping that there is a director's cut because I kind of feel that there were some things that were sort of kind of missing, and I have a feeling that if we do get deleted scenes, I have a feeling we will get that closure. But definitely see Suicide Squad, especially if you have enjoyed the DCEU up until this point, and I am going to be giving Suicide Squad three and a half out of four. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please put your comments in the box below, and let's have a discussion about Suicide Squad, and I will see you in the next one. Action, speak louder than words.